Good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm out here this morning uh, laying plastic mulch for our next group of coal crops. And uh, we're laying mulch today. It's kind of uh, damp. Uh, we've had a damp fall. And, you know, our equipment has to be able to adapt to the different kinds of weather we get. Otherwise, we can't uh, continue farming. So I just wanted to highlight, this is our mulch layer. Um, we found this thing to be very adaptable to our soil types here in Taylor. And um, if you look here, this soil is pretty wet. I can make a pretty good ball. Um, but the soil is moving really well underneath the mulch layer and it's putting up a really nice bed. Um, this kind of soil would probably choke a lighter mulch layer and we've had one uh, in the past from Buckeye Equipment where we were continuously killing shanks or breaking discs or whatever, just plugging in general and tearing plastic. Um, but as you see, I've laid a few rows already and they're coming out nice and straight. They're coming out nice and full and the edges are covered really well and you want that good edge cover because the next time it rains that'll solidify it and draw that mulch to be uh, tight as a tarp. And you know, we get the 30 or 40 mile an hour cold fronts coming through and uh, this plastic will not be moving. So that's our mulch layer. Um, just some of the overviews. I think you've all seen this before, but if you haven't, um, these are the plowshares that pull in the, the soil and then they put up a, a bed here. And then we have behind here a pan that squeezes that soil into the shape of the bed. I have a shoe that goes in front of the covering wheel um, that cleans out a trench and the wheel rides in a clean level soil area. And then we have closing discs to take the loose soil and cover it back up. So it's a one pass mulch system. And uh, what we found is we needed a heavy tractor. And what we have is a heavy tractor. It's about 12,000 pounds. And that way it's pulling the mulch layer, not the other way around. If you have a light tractor, the mulch layer will be pulling your tractor cricket all the time. And one last highlight is this uh, field is our second year using GPS. So you can see the rows are really straight. But more importantly, we're laying it in between another field, which is our old uh, pepper field. We haven't finished that yet because it hasn't frozen yet. So with GPS, we're able to lay off a new field um, in between old fields. And weather permitting, um, this other field here is our tomato field from the summer. I think we're going to plant straight back into the mulch. We just haven't had any decent dry weather to lift that up and recultivate the fields. It's just too wet. So that's probably going to be our uh, next crop of brassicas. We'll be coming through that older mulch. So that's an update from Two Happy Children Farm. Laying out some plastic mulch and some fairly challenging conditions and uh, getting good results with this rain flow uh, mulch layer. Thank you.